Right, let's take a walk around this uh, 1987 Honor D, uh, Land Rover 90, genuine factory county station wagon, uh, but this one's been fitted with 200 TDI power and has been um, quite highly uh, modified for some serious sort of off-roading and green laning. Really, really high spec. Um, finished in the original white, or 90% of it is. Um, it's 90% original paintwork, but huge, huge spec on it, apart from the standard um, County station wagon spec, which is uh, alpine lights and tinted glass and what have you. Um, it's also got externally, what do we have from the back here? It's got um, extended arches uh, with to cover because the, the, the wheels have got 50 millimeter spacers on them. Um, it's got a set of uh, modular silver modular wheels with Cooper a matching set of four Cooper Discoverer STT wheels M&S LT23585R16s so uh, big tyres that mean business and ideal for the mud um, it's also got what looks like a 40mm suspension lift but it's all been properly done and that it's all polybrushed it's got um, QT caster correction arms under the front there um, it's all been uh, done as it should be and it drives absolutely superb it has to be said uh, steering guard uh, front and rear diff guards. It's also got a Detroit locking diff on the back, which is really expensive and uh, means it will tend to go through anything. Um, it's got galvanised rock and tree sliders down the sides. Uh, it's got a heavy duty front bumper on it, um, wading blind, and custom front grille, which you have to have with the wading blind, I think. Uh, snorkel. It's got auxiliary lights on the front. And around the back, that's about it. No tow pack fitted to this one. Um, inside, it's got brand new front and rear seats in it. Um, to the correct defender pattern. Centre cubby box, uh, which with a stereo um, radio CD and auxiliary input inside the cubby box. If you're into that sort of thing, it's got CB radio, it's got an inclinometer. Um, checker plate to the floor pans and the uh, seat boxes. Um, sports steering wheel. It's got all the original county uh, county station wagon headlinings in there and a dog guard. Uh, the rear door card has been replaced with checker plate. <coughs> and in the back here we've got twin rear bench seats. Um, seat belt on that one, no seat belt on that one and also a little sort of cubby box that's uh, fitted between the seats there which I guess you could take out if you don't want it but it's good for carrying things like the uh, there's a high lift jack and stuff in there and check a plate in the back here as well right let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits um, not many bad bits considering it's been built for off-roading and presumably used for off-roading it's uh, it's actually remarkably dent free 95% of the paint is original um, the only bits I can find where it's been repainted is the bulkhead for some reason uh, been painted by hand, I've been rounded with a magnet and apart from a little bit of filler up there and the same on the other side it all seems to be steel but uh, this is certainly uh, all steel here and down the uh, down the A-post and what have you. Anyway we'll go around it and pick out um, what we can to criticise it because it's 1987 so it's um, quite old, quite an old girl now um, the paint has uh, suffered a bit especially being white, you know white dead does tend to sort of get a bit marked and untidy over the years. Um, a few bits of paint loss and electrolytic reaction up around here. It's obviously had a sticker along there at some point. Um, paint loss down to the undercoat there on the front of the bonnet. Um, the near side uh, headlamp cover has got a, a, a break in it just there. Um, and we've got some hedge scratches down the near side uh, front wing here. Again, um, it's a Lynx off-road, I think. Uh, sticker's been taken off of there. Um, as I say, bulkhead-wise, it's been repainted. I think it's had the, uh, by the look of it, it's had the um, repair sections put in there on that side. It's also got axle breathers running up the snorkel, which I forgot to mention before. But it all looks pretty good around there. So I've been around it with a magnet. And apart from a little bit of uh, filler up here and the same on the other side, it all seems to be good. Um, quite why they've repainted it though, I don't really know. I think it is the original bulkhead. I don't think it's come off another vehicle. But I could be wrong on that front. Um, 
tiny, tiny, tiny dink just there in the near side front wing, but very small. It's obviously got checker plate on the door bottoms and everything as well. Uh, near side door all looks pretty good actually. And inside here, uh, the seats are in great shape because they're basically new. Dash is good. Um, it's just nice in the inside. It's all the uh, uh, checker plating, what have you. Obviously, it does mean that we can't see what the footwells are like because it's all been uh, screwed in. Let's see if we can see up through here. Can't really see from there. Can't see any massive, massive holes. Put it that way. Um, door frame. Actually, door frame is remarkably good on the passenger side. That is really good. You won't find many, uh, many better than that. A little bit of movement in the bottom hinge. No more than that. But the door frame itself is excellent. Uh, near side rear wing is all good. One point, the um, some tow rag apparently tried to break into it a while ago and smash the uh, this part of the siding window. So it's been replaced with uh, a piece of fitted perspex, which goes back as far as there to stop someone from doing it again. Um, but that bit's perspex. That bit is the original glass. Um, all looks. Is that a rear quarter chassis on it? Fairly recently, by the look of it. All looks in really good shape under there, actually. Um, around the tail end, there's the usual electrolytic reaction on the tailgate, but not as bad as uh, some of them go. And in the back here, it's functional, shall we say. Tidy and functional. All the headlining's still in place. It's the original early type woolly headlining. Um, once again, tailgate, excellent. It's been wax oiled, actually, the tailgate. I think the door bottoms have as well, because I'm getting all sorts of waxy stuff on my fingers. Um, in fact, that may have been repaired, the tailgate, but it's, it's good. No problems with that at all. Um, looking down the offside, again, it looks really straight actually down there. Uh, offside rear wing, all looks nice. Down under there, she all looks good. Yep. Um, offside doors, a slight split in the skin just there where they always tend to go on the edge of the frame on the early doors. Um, that all looks good. As I say, bulkhead has been repainted in white and by hand. That's the only bit of it that's not the original paint, I think. Um, offside front wing, a couple of bits of paint loss here. And that's about it. Again, there's a, it's like a Lynx off road sticker's been taken off there. In here, uh, same as the offside, but as the near side, really. Good seats. They're fairly new. I think they're within the last three months they've put Oh, it's also got four-point harnesses in it for both driver and passenger. Four-point seatbelt harnesses. Um, once again, driver's door, first class actually, really good, really good. Uh, dash is all there, that's about it I think. Uh, yeah, it's the original bulk here. Actually looks okay up there. Um, not much more I can say about it really, it's, it's great spec and it drives absolutely beautifully. I think that's about it really, my name's Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info. We take part exchanges. We take Visa and MasterCard, credit cards and debit cards with a 2% surcharge for credit cards. And we can have it shipped or delivered anywhere you like in the world, obviously the cost. That's about it. End.